man, if I'm Boogie, I'm looking at that, I'm looking at that BS contract that your boy from Utah just got. Oh yeah, what do you think about that oh, contract, yeah, Rudy? I mean, he got two hundred yeah, million, Shaq. Two hundred. I'm, I'm not going to hate, but this should be an inspiration to all the little kids out there. If you average eleven points in the NBA, you can get two hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> So Shaquille O'Neal evidently doesn't think that the Utah Jazz star Rudy Gobert is worth the $205 million extension he signed last month. In a recent appearance on CBS Sports' All Things Covered podcast, the Hall of Famer appeared to take a shot at Gobert and his contract, which made him the highest paid center in NBA history. So Gobert has a career average of 11.8 points per game, though he averaged 15.9 points in the 2018-19 season and 15.1 points last season. With that being said, Gobert, whose contract is for five years, is widely considered to be one of the cornerstones of the Utah organization along with Donovan Mitchell. He was named Defensive Player of the Year in consecutive seasons and earned his first All-Star selection last season. So after the podcast, it seemed like Shaq said whatever was on his mind, but in true Shaq fashion, he simply didn't end it there and took another shot at Gobert and his contract when he posted something on IG. And his IG post would have a picture of Shaq dunking over Gobert with the caption reading, I would have 45 points, 16 rebounds, 10 missed free throws in 3 quarters. He would have 11 points, 4 rebounds, and fouled out in 3 quarters. So Shaq has a history of taking shots at the younger generation, and whether or not he's right or wrong is up for debate. He seems like an individual who just can't seem to let things go. We've seen it time and time again when he calls out players like Dwight Howard. Anyways, the game was completely different back then. I saw Shaq play and he was the most dominant player I've ever seen. You couldn't simply stop him. He was a force to be reckoned with and referees were always unsure whether to call an offensive or defensive foul just because he was walking over everyone. And to give you a better understanding, in the 2001 NBA Finals versus a supreme defender in Dikembe Mutombo, Shaq averaged 33 points per game on 57% field goal shooting, 15.8 rebounds, 4.8 assists with 3.4 blocks per game. This is how dominant he was. And oh yeah, he won the finals MVP that season. So I kinda understand why Shaq feels the way he does as he sees players who haven't fully established themselves offensively getting these massive contracts. But times are different and in Rudy's defense, although he's been in the league for 8 seasons, he's still shown vast improvements in his game and this season will certainly be a stern test if he can take another leap in his game. Anyways guys, let me know what you think. Is Shaq just being a bully or does he have a point here? <laughs>